And we are back. This is Gotham, season five, episode five. I'm very excited because Hugo Strange is back and we're finally getting Bane, although he's not Bane yet. But we're getting the character before he becomes Bane. But he'll be Bane shortly, but overall I'm really excited for that. Oh, and I'm excited to see the fallout of the revelation that Ed is the one who blew up Haven. Which makes him b much bigger of a threat than any of us could have anticipated. But, but hey, to be fair, it was a really good twist. Um, and I think Oswald and Jim are going to team up. Or work together again. I think. Not 100% sure. And I'm excited to see what happens after last week's episode of the end when Jim and Barbara had a little makeout session. I really hope they have a baby together. They have Batgirl. Honestly, I'll be so fucking happy if they do that. I mean, I can't, I'm probably one of the only few people that actually wants Jim and Barbara to get back together, which I don't think they're back, really back together, but they made out. They probably had sex. But I feel like if Barbara doesn't die, which I don't think she will, by the end of the show, I think Jim and Barbara will be endgame and they'll be together. And then the time jump, maybe they'll have a baby. We won't get Batgirl like in action, because it's not going to be that kind of time jump, but maybe we'll see them with a baby and it'll be revealed that the name, it'll be revealed that it's Batgirl, which we all know it will be. But overall, I do think they will get together at the end of the show. If she doesn't die. But they already killed her once, so to kill her off again would be kind of stupid. So I don't think it's going to happen. But we are definitely going to... I think it was confirmed we're going to have another death in like an episode or two. Oh god. What if someone dies tonight? Oh god. Let's see. We lost Tabitha, so... <laughs> Let's just... Have hope. What hope? <laughs> the f what? Fucking military people? Oh wait, is this Bane? Because isn't he part of the military? Oh, 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 jam! Oh, well, you're dead. Is this him? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think that's him, but he's not Bane yet. Okay. I was gonna say, tell that to Miss Kringle. Oh, I forgot about Doherty, but yeah, I was about to say Miss Kringle. Jim, you're stressing me out. Oh, whoa! Oh, Jim Gordon. My book was it again? Chess strategy. Night moves nimbly in the dark. I'm gonna wring this nerd's neck. In chess. Knights move in an hour. Two spaces straight and one at a 90 degree angle. Mm hmm. Butterfly collecting with conviction. Or. Chess strategy. Knights gambit. Escape and checkmate. Oh? I think we did it. Jam? Oh. 
Who the fuck are you? I'm the woman who's gonna carry out your execution. Excuse me. Oh, oh. Um, excuse me, you nutty old lady. Uh, oh, I hope someone comes in and saves his ass. <laughs> They're giving him exactly what he wants. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, he's still alive? I thought he got blown up. Come on, Ed, get out of there. Run. Nothing. I didn't call for help. I didn't. She secretly blames herself for their deaths. For the guy to stop. It wasn't your fault. You were just a scared kid. Oh, that breaks my heart. That she blames herself all these years. No. You were the scared kid. Damn. We are not the same, Bruce. do anything because I wasn't willing to risk my neck for someone else because I didn't care. You didn't care then. You had been stabbed. I paid Hugo Strange to save your life. I bet he did something to you and was passing you up. Huh. You paid Hugo Strange to save me? Why? What was I supposed to do? Let you die? Because he cares about you. you my only friend. You shot Butch! Which is why I needed you! Ugh. It's like I killed my friend, but you're still my friend too. <laughs> the look on Penguin's face. What the? Oh, I need information. Your specialty. I am going to cut your face into a jigsaw puzzle and watch you try and put it back together again. Barbara! Am I done? Um, uh... In all the years of plotting and the no? betrayals between us, have you ever, ever... Sometimes. Come in, your lady. The last body you procured from me was gangrenous. Well, hello, hello, I'm Professor here. Strange. I've missed him. Oh, shit. Oh, my. <laughs> Bye. I love the way he talks. Uh, I feel like he's gonna do something. Oh, of course. Not to worry. You're experiencing a simple neural cutout. I am mystified as to how you've become aware you're being controlled. I suppose we're just going to have to open you up. Oh. And take a look under the hood. So wait, is it really you or is it someone else? Don't we? Oh no. The neural cutout inhibits muscular function. Ugh. Brain pain receptors. Let's be fair, I've seen worse from walking dead. The reboot of the chip should be all that is required, although the sound may be uh, somewhat unpleasant. Not to mention the smell. Oh my god. He put a chip in my brain. It's so much big control. So who's his handler? And then he drilled in my head. Better talk now. I am a scientist. A contract came along. I developed a tool. What if it's him, Eduardo? How dare you? Just a gut feeling. What if he's the handler? He's been with Strange all. Please escort the professor out. Thank you. I knew it. 
know what's going on. Sorry, pal, but this part of the op is needed to know. I fucking so, knew it. Custody, but Walker wants Enigma taken out. So he's Riddler's handler? Walker was behind this. She's been controlling Enigma the whole time? You know I hate you spook crap. I don't ask questions. I follow orders. She's responsible for hate. I don't understand why. Jim, stop right there. Trust me. Walker wants you to put a bullet in his brain. Fuck that. He's gonna, he has a plan. He's gonna do something. Maybe so. Oh, I knew he was gonna do something! I'm excited to see you become Bane. So he's his handler? You know Jim Gordon. Yeah. You know the city. Find him. And chop him. Oh yeah, he's his handler. <gasps> my child! Oh, my dead child. For now. <laughs> Echo. He was never dead. Stitch is still sore, huh? Never would have happened if you wore that armor I prepared. Oh! That bullet is making you sentimental. So he never died. Give her a shake, huh? Oh god, do I want to know? Is it a smile? Face paint? <laughs> do they have smiles? Show me. Uh, I love family reunions, don't you? Family reunions? You're not gonna show me? What were those his parents? Bruce, he said family reunion. I Two weeks, fuck that. Clean house. I won't lie you. Bane. You'll be the bane of anyone. <gasps> Jimmy Murray! So she's gonna help him become Bane. But who is she? Oh my god, that was such a good episode, but Jimmy Murray is finally coming in next week. So she's gonna help Eduardo become Bane. But who is she? I don't know, but we'll find out next week, but... I, had, I didn't trust Eduardo in this episode, because, you know, he's Bane, or he's going to be, We know he's going to become Bane, so he's technically already bad in a way, so I wasn't fully trusting him. But I, at first, I didn't think he was going to be Ed, uh, Ed's handler. Strange, I wasn't really surprised, but then he said, oh, you have a handler? I'm like, who? But then when Eduardo showed up and everything, I was like, I got that vibe, and I was like, hey, it's probably Eduardo, and what do you know? Eduardo's the handler. And it looks like next week is when he's going to become Bane. I'm so excited. And Jeremiah, my child, I thought he was dead. I know, I thought he died and then Strange or someone else was going to bring him back somehow. But no, he was wearing armor and faked his death. Made it look like Selena killed him. Huh. And also the ending, they didn't show me the people's faces. But then he said, family reunion. So were those his parents? Because he and Jerome had the same parents, so his mother, we know Jerome killed in season one because she was a nagging whore, that's what he said. And his father, Jerome, killed in season two. So were those his parents? Because he did say family reunion. Either they were his parents or someone else in his family, but I doubt it. Why bring his, why bring his parents back, though? I don't know, but... That'd be kind of interesting, but at least he's not dead. And then this was episode five. We have two more episodes and then Ace Chemicals. Well, one and then Ace Chemicals, technically. I'm so excited, but Ace Chemicals, that's going to be one hell of an episode. I'm not ready. I'm going to be shaking the whole time. Literally. I knew the whole thing with Ed, that there was more to it. Like, yes, he blew up Haven, but I knew there was more to it. Like, that doesn't seem like Ed's M.O., just blowing up a building. So it wasn't, well, it was Ed, but it was strange, 
but it was also the handler, which was Eduardo. So they were the ones behind it. Damn. Oh, and Penguin and Ed, how about Penguin gave him his little speech about how he's his friend and everything, and then five seconds later, oh, grab Enigma. They don't want me. They want him. Penguin, you're a bitch, but I love you. This season is killing it. It's already my favorite, surpassing season four. And season four was amazing. So this, oh my god. Gotham is just one of those shows that gets better with every season. Much like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because for me, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Gotham are similar. Season one was meh, but then it gets better. And then with their, each of their respective seasons, they get better as they go along. And both of the shows have my current favorite season, which is season four. Well, Gotham is currently getting me to season five as my favorite. Whereas Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., my current favorite season is season four. With season five as a close second. But who knows? Season six or season seven could surpass that. But right now on Gotham, it's definitely this season. Holy shit. Well, that was Gotham, season five, episode five. Overall, a really good episode. I really enjoyed seeing Hugo Strange back. Honestly, he's definitely one of my favorite villains in the show, and it's mainly due to the actor, B.D. Wong. He was honestly perfect for the role. He brings a sarcastic and just a mix between evil and sarcasm to the role. Like, he's just so emotionless and nonchalant and sarcastic, but he's evil. And I love it. Like, he was amazing in season two, and then we didn't get much from after that. Like, he was in season three a bit, season four kind of came back with the finale, but overall, he's an amazing villain. I mean, sure, he's evil, but he's compelling. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what you thought of the episode and what you think will happen with Bane next week. And list me your theories on what you think will happen in the Ace Chemicals episode coming up in, oh, I almost said two weeks, but three, because we're on a two-week hiatus. Fuck. I can barely last a week. They expect me to last two? Fuck that. But anyway, that is it for now, and I will see you guys next time.